happy new year everyone welcome to another video i started this back in 2022 last year was the first time i did a video where you know i talked about what is some tech or technologies could be programming languages could be cloud platforms or any devops tools that i'll be focusing my learnings for you know the last year and now in this video i'll be sharing what i'm gonna try to learn in 2023 because you'll see in the video 2022 the things that i planned didn't go pretty well i left out few stuff that i plan to learn that being said let's start the video so here is the technologies that i planned on focusing on in 2022 for tech i can check off linux because i was using a lot of it whether it be through you know the vms or instances in aws or azure all of them were linux and then also with wsl2 and the updates that wsl came out with i have been using wsl for any of the command line stuff even on my windows machine i have it installed on the windows terminal app i do have a blog post if you're wondering how to configure wsl and i'll link it down in the description and then k is the one that i had some challenges this was also the year that i changed two jobs whereas prior to this i had been working at the same company for four years changing jobs also means there are challenges of setting up yourself in the new environment setting up yourself for success at the new company joined google early this year and then after four months i left google and joined twilio during those transitions i guess i didn't have much time to look at kubernetes for me it was not using containers to you know deploy the websites or projects that i've been working it was more about learning kubernetes so i'm familiar with docker and containerization stuff i just need to learn kubernetes for orchestration we'll keep kubernetes for this year too then i can put across <laughs> Uh, across kids for IAC, I had planned Terraform and I did utilize Terraform for any of the infrastructure deployments for my projects, any of the community stuff that I did. I can check that off. Python was again the focus, but I didn't spend much time upskilling in Python, so I'm already good with scripting and stuff, but I didn't spend much time to the deep workings of Python, get myself familiarized with just the concepts when it comes to you know programming. So that will also move to 2023. And then GCP, because I was starting this new job at Google. Prior to that, I had decided that I'll learn GCP and I can check that off. I also sat the cloud, associate cloud engineer exam. I feel pretty good about the Google Cloud platform. The certs is an interesting one. So for 2022, I planned AZ700, which is the networking one for Azure, LPIC Linux Essentials, and also some Google Cloud certs. With certs, I realized they don't bring that much value to me and my career right now so i skipped these two for google cloud search since gcp was in the plans of me learning that cloud platform but also me joining google meant i had to give the associate cloud engineer it was required by the role also wait stick around till the end of the video because there is a giveaway portion that i'm doing in this video so if you're interested in a giveaway and it's interesting trust me stick around i can check that off that is for 2022 and now moving on to 2023 and this is what i have planned we already talked about kubernetes so we'll be moving to 2023 and hopefully <laughs> I'll have some time to learn Kubernetes and I plan on doing that. It has been long due. For IC, I'm gonna start poking around Azure Bicep, but I think when it comes to my personal projects and things I'll build, it'll still be in Terraform. So expect some more videos or content around Terraform. And then, as I said, I couldn't focus much on Python last year. i will be moving on to 2023, where I'll dive deep into making myself at least somewhat close to a developer. I don't consider myself a developer, but I have to work on that. And then also web dev. I've been working on a few, I would say, websites, at least three of them. I'm planning to do that. And one of them is Learn to Cloud's documentation website. Right now we use Doxify, planning a migration to DocuSaurus, which is based on React, used by Facebook, trying to learn the web development fundamental. I am familiar with JavaScript, but it's great to have a hands-on project that also adds value to the community, but I also get my hands dirty 
quality with writing code and then also my personal website so I, I've been using a template and I plan on creating something from scratch I'll use a template but I'll add some features that I really look forward to and then when it comes to cloud because this is the one where I get a lot of question is what cloud platform I'm focusing on for 2023 and it will be Azure and AWS also I'll be exploring you know secrets management tooling from HashiCorp that's vault so some learnings around that when it comes to certs and if I do do them I will be some professional or expert level for AWS maybe I'll sit the DevOps Pro certification AZ400 which is also the DevOps expert but in Azure so these are the two certs which I'm not sure if I'll sit them you'll know when I do 2024 version of this video if you follow me on Twitter you can also see an update there but then the Linux essentials I do have notes like I prepared for this exam I just didn't say it maybe I'll sit this exam and get done with it but yeah Linux essential is on my list which I do want to do but these two we'll see and then for the tech I already covered majority of it that was the video thanks for sticking towards the end and I do have to announce a giveaway because we hit that 10,000 subscribers so thank you for watching me on this career tech journey and exploring the world of cloud computing and DevOps thank you for being a part of this channel and with that being said I'll be giving away a certification voucher for any of the cloud certs so it could be AWS or Azure so I'll be giving a cloud certification away so I'll give away a voucher with which you can set either the foundational which is for AWS cloud practitioner or AZ900 or associate level certification for both AWS or Azure what you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to the channel so this giveaway is only for subscribers and comment down what are some learnings that you are focusing on in 2023 and what certification would you be interested in you'll see the announcement of the winners soon I'll be picking winners in a week so you have uh, seven days to participate in this giveaway and yeah I wish you luck here's to starting 2023 strong